Yeah, I was really happy with how regionals went. You know, it's kind of hard to gauge, you know. It was, wasn't like any other competition any of us had gone into before. You know, they completely eliminated barbells. There was two workouts with the 21-15-9 domain. Um, uh, so it was a lot of, there was a lot of like sprinty type workouts. But then taking away that that max load, you know, there's still some weight. There's a 150 pound sandbag, you know, lots of 80 pound dumbbells. So there's still grunt work to be done. But what so many people focus so much time on is like that one rep Olympic lifts. That wasn't a factor this year. So, you know, no one really knew how things are going to pan out, you know, how certain athletes are going to handle it. Um, it kind of all came out in the wash at the end, you know. Uh, everyone that, you know, everyone that people expected to be at the top kind of finished at the top and uh, put up the high scores. And um, I was very happy with how Reels went uh, on my part, you know. Um, there's a lot of, like, Northeast region, you know, it's stacked, you know. Uh, a lot of guys that you're going to see at the top level of the games and a lot of guys that when they didn't make it to the games I'm shocked because you know I've trained them in the off season and I know what they're capable of if they made it to the games in the moment it's kind of a kind of pain in the ass having like the top guys in your region because now you need to take multiple competitions seriously it's not like I can just kind of walk through regionals and then focus on the games you know I gotta I gotta produce at regionals as well um, but then on the other hand in the big picture it's it's great going against those guys months ahead of time you know see see what they're working with see how I chalk up see what my deficiencies are compared to these incredible athletes so uh, went well um, picked up some stuff that okay like the work I was doing in the off season on on that paid off, uh, and then other stuff that okay, like this movement or this time domain or this uh, stimulus, you know, I got to work on it. What are we? I think like 50 days out from the games, uh, like give, give or take a couple days. 46. 46 days out from the games. Uh, so, you know, it's like fully fully recovered from regionals uh, for the last couple weeks. So, you know, really back into the regular swing of things, you know, back, back into the routine that I was in before regionals. Uh, you know, back doing the track workouts, the swim workouts, the barbells all that stuff I feel very good um, yeah I mean there's nothing nothing that's happening that I'm like doing backflips over but nothing bad you know uh, so that's that's usually that's where I want to be you know uh, it's usually when one element of training is going so spectacularly well there's usually something that's at a deficit that's suffering because of that but you know just nice and even across the board
so you know i just haven't been hitting the higher percentages as often as i would like to be comfortable with with those movements and so i just said all right like i want to i want to just do a test run you know progress report see where i'm at um So I had a number in mind, you know, I figured like 345, 350, if I could hit that with how my training has been going with, um, with doing the really tough swim workout this morning, like I'd be satisfied with the 350, knowing that with, with all those other elements that are being taken into factor, that yes, I could do more, I'd be up at the numbers I want to if if I was in the ideal situation and with a 350 I can st still work off the numbers I've been working off and uh, and produce the results I want to come August um, yeah so you know uh, it's not like the clean jerks are going exceptionally well uh, 315 335 kind of routine numbers uh, 355 I was very happy with how 355 went. It was an awful lift, but it was the fact that, you know, I caught the bar out of position. And usually that's just a dump, dump the lift right away type thing. Um, but came up, was able to get readjusted, get my breath, and still complete 355. And so I was really happy with how that went considering the circumstances of, you know, it was out of position. It wasn't the pretty technical lift, but it just let me know like, okay, if you catch a bar at a place, it's not not just dump it and try again later. You don't. Have, I don't have to waste that attempt. Um, yeah. So made the 355, and uh, and just and just was. I don't, don't want to say just like fuck it, but you know it's like kind of what's the point of doing 365? It's been done before. You know it's a I don't want to say it's a routine lift for me, but I mean, I've hit it a handful of times. So I just threw on, threw on an extra 10, made it 375, kind of a pretty number. And, uh, and I mean, it went better than I could have imagined, you know? It was like, for me, it was the, the picture perfect lift, you know? Everything was right in place. There was no sticking point out of the clean. It was just like, clean, breath, jerk, done you know there was no struggling no walking around so I, I was I was pretty happy with that uh, but I think I think I'm more happy with the 355 just with the, the confidence that came behind it of you know you can fight for something